Hey there, I am back with another deck review. Today, combining two of my favorite things in playing cards and coffee. This is the James Coffee Company deck from Art of Play. So this is done as a collaboration between Dan and Dave over at Art of Play and the James Coffee Company. Uh, they are an artisanal coffee roaster out in San Diego, California, out in the same place where Art of Play is based. Uh, but let's jump in and take a look at this tuck case. So first off, it is a letter press tuck case uh, done by Clove Street Press, uh, also based in San Diego. And you'll see here that it is just this really clean satin finish of a black cardboard here. And then on the front, you've got in all gold foil, this letter press owl on the front. And this is the logo for the James Coffee Company. But that's it, no words or anything on the front. It's a very, very clean look to the deck, very elegant. So I really like that. And then on one side, it just says playing cards, again in the raised gold foil letters. And then on the other side, James Coffee Company. Uh, and then the back just has very simply down here, James Coffee Company at the bottom, again in that gold foil. And then on the bottom here, made in the USA, produced and distributed by Art of Play. Now, these are a deck that, according to the website, was done in collaboration with the USBCC. So you'll see a couple of differences between this and a regular USBCC deck, but I'm assuming that that means that the stock used here uh, is in line with what USBC typically uses, and that kind of bears out just in the feel of the cards, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, the top of the deck case is just plain black, and then you have this brown postage stamp style seal with a silhouette of that owl on it. So it's a very simple, very clean, very elegant, just done up in black and gold on that tuck case. Really like what they did there with that simplicity. Inner flap here, copyright 2016 by James Coffee Company. And then that black just continues down all the way through. So that's the tuck case, but let's look at the cards and we'll start with the backs. So here you go, it is just a uh, black with gold ink, and then that white poker border. Very, very simple, uh, but very nicely done. And here you'll see it is a two-way back design, so you have this sort of cross-hatching pattern in the back, and then the uh, owl logo there on each side and the inside of a gold circle. And it's all done up in gold ink all the way around. Very, very cool. Uh, in terms of color scheme, I think it's gonna remind you a lot of, if you've seen, um, you know, the, the the Killer Bees deck from Illusionist, although that one's done up in yellow, but at a glance, they kind of look similar. Or if you've seen the first V2s from Chris Ramsey, again, a very similar color scheme that's done up here, but very, very nicely done on that with that gold on black. So that is the back of the cards, uh, but let's flip it over and take a look at the front. So first off, extra cards. You do get two Jokers. Uh, they are, again, that owl logo. So one of them is the regular owl logo, just done up in black and white. And the other one is a silhouette of the owl. And then it says Joker Joker on it. So there's your two Jokers. Very clean, very simple. And then you get one extra card, which is kind of cool. And it is a quick brewing guide. So it kind of runs through different methods. Like you've got, you know, French press or using an arrow press. And goes in detail on exactly how to make the coffee. I mean, down to the detail of, you know, espresso. 21.5 grain grinds or grams of finely ground coffee added in and evenly tamped. So it goes into very high level of detail about how to make your different cups of coffee. So kind of a cool little touch there, a little something different that you don't see in most. But that's it. You just get the three extra cards. So usually with a USBCC deck, you get four extra cards. This only has three, just kind of one of the small differences from a regular USBCC deck. Let's look at the rest of the cards. Now here's your Ace of Spades. Very, very simple, um, has kind of an elongated spade in the middle, and then in gold ink, James Coffee Company at the bottom, nothing else to it, and then pretty standard indexes in the corner. And then all of your number cards are also gonna be fairly standard. I think the, the spades on all of these look a little bit elongated to me, but otherwise, pretty standard, pretty usable deck there. And then your core cards are gonna be standard designs, but they're gonna be just slightly recolored, so they're red, and then they've got bits of gold ink all over it. So you'll see like the hair and the scepter up here and then the detail in here where we see the gold there. This can be done up in gold ink, just giving it a little bit more of a luxury feel, but very nice on those uh, without a whole lot of customization. The rest of the deck is gonna be fairly standard. This is a little bit of a lighter red color here, not quite as deep of a color as you'll see on other decks, but it's pretty familiar. 
And then same deal, court cards here are gonna be done up with that gold ink all the way through. And then there's your clubs. And last but not least are your hearts. There's your court cards and through the hearts. So pretty standard on the rest of the deck. Uh, as far as handling, I did mention collaboration with USBCC. They're gonna handle really nicely. Uh, they, they fan super well. Uh, they look great in fans. Uh, just a really nice handling, very, very smooth deck. Uh, as far as use for the deck, what would you use this for? I think this is one of those that you can use pretty much for anything. The intention with this deck when they created it was to be one that you would use for gameplay. So they encourage people at the James Coffee Company to kind of play games while they're at the coffee shop. So grab your coffee, grab a game and play it. So they wanted this to be just sort of something that you could use at their tables while you're drinking your cup of coffee. So it's gonna be great for gameplay. Very, very familiar look to it. Nothing is gonna be distracting from gameplay. But I think that that simple design is also one that you could make use of in cardistry as well without it being too overly distracting. So I think you could use it for that. And then of course, with the standard faces and then that border here on the, on the backs of the cards, also great for magic. So I think this is one that you could really use for pretty much anything. Not to mention that this is a tuck case that really does look great on a shelf as well or as part of a collection. That's why this is one of my personal favorite decks, a really, really cool one. Uh, now, unfortunately, this deck is not one that's super easy to get a hold of now. It was a limited edition of 2,500 decks, was sold on Art of Play, uh, and then also at the James Coffee Company. They are sold out now, so they're not readily available on the website. So you'd have to go to like secondary markets to get a look at these or to get a hold of these. But if you do get a chance to at a reasonable price, I definitely recommend taking a look at it. This is in my rotation of one of my absolute favorite decks here. Really big fan of this one. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed uh, getting a chance to take a look at a little bit of an older deck and just kind of an interesting and different deck. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions, other decks you wanna see. And with that, I will see you for the next one.